Hello and welcome to this weekend investing special episode. We are doing this educational series to bring out content to educate new users, uh, you know, even older users who have who are yet to really get the rhythm in their investing, learn new uh, ways of investing, learn uh, the behavioral science behind investing, and so on and so forth. So today's topic is on no plan. If there is no plan game is over now why do i say that uh, you need to look at your investing as if you are running a business you know in any business uh, no success is possible if you are not planning out how you are going to run that business that business cannot be run because somebody tells you buy this item at so and so rate and you know wait for some time and then if it goes up you can sell it off and then you don't know what to do until the next time that you need to buy something that is not business right that is just mere speculation or hearsay or just uh, you know trying to fill in your free time uh, with you having some money to blow uh, that usually or let me not say usually it will 100% lead to uh, your game being over if you have no plan to protect your capital, if you have no plan how to pick stocks, how much to allocate in each stock, how to get out of stocks, I'm sorry, this game is not for you then. This game is already over for you. Don't even attempt it. If you're not going to play by any plan, if you're not going to play by any rules, this game is already over for you. Let me save you some of the money that you are about to blow if you are going that way that I just mentioned. So you need to treat it like a business. You need to evaluate your performance from time to time. You need to see what kind of strategy you're putting in. You need to see how you're going to change that strategy if it is not working. You need to see what is the risk that you're taking in each step of your uh, plan, how you will mitigate risk in case something untoward happens to you. What is your worst case scenario? How will your portfolio react if uh, if there's a black swan event? Uh, how would have your strategy performed if you had the last 20 years to be repeated in the markets? All this is very, very important. Uh, you know, just somebody telling you buy XYZ stock and hold it is not investing. It is just wasting time and money. So let's get started with this. We will go through some of the examples recent example so that it, it becomes more clear how sometimes, you know, the narrative is, is overpowering our ability to, uh, uh, to, to assess stocks or to even make, create a plan and go forth. So we'll take an example of Shri cement. Now, all these examples that I take in these educational series are for that purpose only. I have no particular bias for or against any such company. We at Weekend Investing essentially run uh, totally unbiased and a mechanical way of investing in stocks. So I have no love and affection for any one stock or sector or 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 or, or you know hate any stock or any sector. I am open to all kinds of opportunities. I need to make the best uh, you know uh, opportunistic uh, move given the uh, markets that we have. So Shri Cement is one stock, very popular uh, name, uh, extremely uh, robust uh, stock performance in the in the years gone by. Recently, there was some NDA TV news that they have done an evasion of 23,000 crores. I mean, not even any small amount. And it is said to be one of the biggest uh, evasion ever. Uh, by I think uh, even till date, last two, three days, this has been going on. Uh, surveys were on and no final report has yet been filed. They also quoted that company has siphoned off 1,400 crores every year in tax because of which center and state governments have, you know, uh, suffered a huge loss of revenue due to fake agreements. And there's there's uh, allegation of uh, uh, fraudulent means being used to evade taxes. Now, we don't know whether this is right or wrong, whether they should have been Maybe it is just uh, some uh, competitive play by somebody else. We don't really know that. But one thing is very interesting that 
since April 2021, the stock has been making lower lows uh, on this chart. In fact, it went from 32,000 uh, uh, achieved on 1st April 2021 to as low as 18,000, almost half halfway down uh, by April or, or uh, June 2022. So within a year, uh, the stock dropped almost 50% and it bounced from there from 18,000 to about 26, 27,000. And after this news of the last, uh, this tax uh, evasion thing, it dropped again 10% on morning of uh, 26th June. Now this fall has caused another 10% loss in the market cap for this stock. And it's it has dropped uh, till date about 25% from the peak. So this is the current situation of the stock. Now, imagine that you have been following this stock for a long time, right? And you are you were convinced with the management, you were convinced with the fundamentals of the company, you were convinced with the growth prospects of the company, and you've been doubling down on this stock. And now this allegation is there. You don't know whether it is right, whether it is wrong, uh, how long it will take to, you know, even figure out whether, you know, this is uh, going to impact the company going forward. Because let's say they go and contest uh, whatever is the allegation. Then they have to, you know, if 23,000 crores is the, is the allegation, then just to contest it, they will need to put up 20% of that. That's how the rules of the taxation uh, appellate authority are. So, you know, if, if they have to put up three, four, five thousand crores for that, then maybe that growth for the next year is stunted. Uh, you know, where to get that money from. So a lot of ifs and buts and, you know, question marks immediately uh, arise and uh, on the on the future of such a stock. Now, how do you decide? What will be your decision? If you were uh, a part of a you know, loyal shareholders of this company since a while. How would you have decided when to exit? You know, will you wait and watch and hope that this tides over? Or will you exit and look for other opportunities? Are you so wedded to the company that you want to make all your gains out of this company only? Or are you neutral enough to say that, okay, there is a problem in this company and, you know, I've been holding it for five years. I'm not sure about the future. So let me get out of it and Let's take a fresh view and, and give my capital a new opportunity in some other stock. Or if, if you were running some kind of a, uh, you know, trailing exit system, then maybe somewhere around 22, 23, 24,000, once the stock has dropped uh, 20, 30%, you could have gotten out and saved yourself, you know, a year and a half of agony and the uncertainty that exists in today's uh, time. So this is one, uh, you know, case study where, of course, there are no straight answers. I could be totally wrong and this evasion uh, allegation could be totally off. But this discussion is there to force you to th think how you approach such situations in the market. Because these situations will come every now and then. And in some of the cases, you will really have to take a beating if you wait out for too long. Because the market is ruthless. Market does not wait for you know, for you to think and act. Market is, is full of sharks and, and they, at the drop of the hat, if somebody is sensing that something is going wrong, they will not give you an opportunity to get out so easily. So, tactfully, you need to have a framework uh, or you stay in the hope mode. So, either you have a framework that, okay, th if this, 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 this happens, I will get out or I will stay in hope mode and I will trust that, you know, the management uh, will come around and 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 uh, redeem uh, what is lost ground over the next few years. Another example that uh, came to my mind was Johnson Controls. Uh, now this company is a MNC company uh, promoted by Hitachi, largest commercial air conditioning providers in the world. So you know it comes with that kind of uh, lineage and uh, heritage. And, and, you know, the quality of uh, the precedence of quality in the management and, and the promoter group. Uh, portfolios are, of course, uh, room air conditioning, VRFs, uh, package air conditionings. So the whole gamut in air conditioning, basically. And it has 12% uh, market share also in the retail uh, AC segment. Now, just see how the stock is. Stock really did very well from 2014 onwards. It, it was at somewhere around 100, 150 rupees. 
it it leapt to 1600 rupees so almost a 10x gain happened in 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 less than two years in one and a half years so you know something happened here where the prospects of the company uh, you know became huge and then of course it stagnated for a while and then from 1400 it leapt to 2800 another doubling here then it halved again then it doubled again then halved again and now it is down almost 60 percent uh, or even more uh, from its recent highs in 2020 right so this just hit a new high just before covid and ever since then it has lost almost 60 percent so your capital has lost almost eight years of of uh, stagnating uh, in this uh, stock if if you were the lucky ones to have boarded the train here if you were a momentum investor you would have bought it somewhere near 200 and ridden it all the way here and possibly gotten out somewhere near 1200 and you know not have it not have had to uh, you know wait for so long maybe you would have got another trade here you would have gotten out here you got another trade here gotten out here so couple of trades but you would not have had to wait for eight years eight painfully long agonizing eight years and not knowing whether this will revive or not so it becomes a hope trade i mean uh, th there are times when you know stocks will revive and then there are times that they will not revive or maybe they will revive just enough so that you know you may make uh, some bank returns over over a period of 15 years profits also have been going down for the stock and it has been uh, you know underperforming uh, other uh, air conditioning companies by a wide wide margin so so, you know, these kind of, uh, 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 I would say, case studies help in, uh, you know, trying to figure out what is the best way in, you know, giving my capital the best chance to make money for me. Is it to, you know, buy stocks, even though they may not be moving and just wait because there is some sense of a uh, you know a certainty that most people have that the stock will move sooner or later you know it 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 seems like that that you know you can buy a stock so what if it doesn't move for a few years it will move after that but there is no assurance of that you know because we have huge selection bias huge survivorship bias built into it we are looking at 7000 companies which exist today in the markets and if you look at only nsc maybe 2000 companies but it is discounting the fact that hundreds of companies have come in and gone out of the system they've closed down shut down or are you know reeling uh, disasters like you know you, i can rattle off so many names which were part of nifty at one point of time but today they are 95% down 98% down so many of them because it is a competitive world out there there is no guarantee that a good management can you know get you that uh, pot of gold there is no guarantee of that sort they may they may get uh, outdated by technology somebody else may have some other strategy in the market it's a cutthroat competition game and there is no assurance that every company needs to do well right the survivorship of the company itself has gone dramatically down in the last 20 years the average age of a snp 500 company is down from 30, 40 years to, uh, to to maybe like 16, 17 years now. So, so, so uh, long story short, you need to, you know, think about the opportunity cost of your capital, uh, you know, before locking in yourself based on narratives. And one way to do that is to do momentum investing. Of course, having a plan is very, very important. Whichever investing style you choose, having a plan is the most important. You need to treat this as a business. You need to treat it as uh, you know, an entity that you need to nurture and grow. And if something is not working, you need to change it. If something is, uh, you know, working well, you need to stick with that strategy and so on and so forth. And least, uh, if, if you're not even having a proper plan to enter, at least have a plan to exit. Because exit plan, you know, can save you from disaster. And the disaster is essentially the reason why most portfolios will not do well. It is not because they did not pick the right stocks. Even if you pick the average stock, you will do all right. But you need to avoid disasters. Because if like 
the analogy i usually say on this is you are running on the road and you fall into a ditch it's okay to fall into a ditch of 2 feet 4 feet because you can get out and start running again but if your fall if you if your fall is into a 20 feet ditch you were never getting out of there so just avoid large pitfalls just avoid uh, you know uh, of course not having a plan avoid that and within your plan also you need to design your plan in such a way that you don't fall flat too far down way from where you can't get up and start running again so all the best to you wish you a great investing journey please let us know if you like these these content and materials that we are putting out to uh, you know put your comments in these in the comment section below do give us a thumbs up if you like the videos do subscribe to us do share our videos with your friends if you think they are deemed to be worthy of sharing thank you so much bye bye investments in securities are subject to market risks read all related documents carefully before investing